hello welcome to my channel this is Jayla Joy or Jayla for short um I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today um today we're going to be giving you an everyday foundation look so let's get right into it okay so to get right into this look I already did my um eyebrows and then I primed my eyes with the LA Pro concealer in pure beige and then I put some eyeshadow on nothing really too serious I used the morphine 3502 palette and I used the two eyeshadows right here just mix them together and put it all over my lid um and I just have some regular um clear lip gloss on so yeah let's get right into this look so with the philosophy um moisturizer and I bought the travel size because I didn't want to buy the full size because I want to try it out because I don't like actually buying the actual thing unless I know if it's going to work very good or not so and I really like this moisturizer because it um is lightweight and you can wear it under your foundation as for some other um moisturizers that I use it kind of weighs down your face and then your foundation doesn't look good after so yeah, and I'm also just wearing a regular shirt and I'm wearing a bandana because I'm trying to lay down my hair right now. So don't judge me or anything. This is just a bandana that I found in the drawer. So anyway, so today I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown foundation. Um, it's the Skin Longwear Weightless and um, mine's in the color Golden number six. I really like this foundation because it gives me like that skin um, finish, but still kind of matte, uh, not too drying though. But so yeah, I'm gonna be taking this. And if you have any questions about this, uh, this, if, if you have any questions about that foundation, um, be sure to leave some uh, questions because I will definitely answer it because I've been using this for pretty, for a pretty long time. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna just take some, and it blends in with my skin quite well, and as you can tell, my neck is way darker than my face, and, you know, some people, oh, by the way, I'm using the Morphine M39 brush, which is, like, basically the foundation brush, but, um, some people, like, like, uh, what's the word? I like it to blend in with your your neck and the reason why I really don't like that is because um is because if it blends in with your neck then you're really gonna have to cover your whole face with um with foundation and I don't like that because some spots I really do not even need foundation so the fact that I gotta put makeup on it is ridiculous so I'm gonna make sure to get the nose because the nose be popping out and I just keep dotting it around I start with a little bit um, right now it depends if I really want to snatch look but since we're going for like a regular day I'm not gonna do too much I might take off my bandana because I need to do my forehead I'll put a little bit more right here and it might look white right now but best of believe this is definitely my color i will show you guys later that's what i mean okay let me take off my um my bandana real quick. okay i'm back um a little i don't like to lay down my baby hairs too much especially if i'm doing makeup but i did one more pump just because um my forehead as you can kind of tell is a little um dark not dark but you can see a lot of because i'm like that's mostly where i get my acne is is in my forehead so therefore i try to cover or put the most makeup on my forehead and if you want to get the more like full coverage you kind of should treat your brush like it's a beauty blender um meaning like instead of going like this down you want to go dab you know because any any brush you use if you dab it you will get more of the color out with your foundation or your um, concealer. You're going to tell that you're getting more full coverage if you dab it. I mean, you also got to like drag it into your skin, but still like dabbing it, it's going to give more of the full effect. 
just letting you guys know but with my channel I want to uh, get a good amount of subscribers I'm gonna start doing a lot of giveaways because I do want to show all my subscribers um, appreciation that I really appreciate you guys subscribing and you know stay in tune with my channels as well as I want to be able to give you guys the best that I can give I want to be one of the best of the best okay next we'll be going into concealer of course and I still kind of got makeup on my hand but um I will be going into the NARS concealer and this is the creamy beige in the color caramel and I really like this concealer because it's it feels lightweight but it's actually kind of pretty much full coverage I mean it's kind of medium to full in my opinion but I feel like if you work your concealer the right way then it could be full if you want it to be ask for like well then again because if you use like shape tape shape tape is going to be full coverage regardless to be honest with you shape tape ain't no joke so if you really have like really dark circles shape tape is the one i'm telling you guys um i don't usually like going like bridging my nose up there and down there for this look because it's not too serious it's more so every day if it was like oh i'm going out then you will be seeing concealer right here right here right here right here you know all the normal spots but since um this is an everyday look i really don't think that's necessary anyways anyway so i leave my concealer on for about 20 to 30 seconds just because it kind of sinks in and gives you that more um full coverage look and then it's easier to blend as well as for if it's more watery then it's kind of like you got to blend a little longer which blending is key if you get anything from this video it's blending that is key I'm not playing with y'all anyway so um but yeah so just gonna lay for like 10 more seconds i love it to be thick um and another thing is um the one finger because i like to blend my concealer out with with uh, my finger sometimes i use a beauty blender but i don't know i just really like using my finger anyway so um another thing is if you're gonna use your finger always use this finger right here because this finger has the um least amount of muscles and you want to be careful around your under eye because i feel like if i blend like too hard under my under eye Later on, my eye starts to get watery, and then it messes up my eyelashes, and then it messes up my whole face. So, um, just be careful and be mindful. Then again, I also use this finger, too, because I do need a little bit of more, you know. But I still try to be very careful because your eyes are very delicate. Anyway, so I let this dry, and I'm going to start with this finger and go all the way up in here. Or even sometimes I use a brush because the brush is helpful as well. So that's my first layer. I'm about to put on another one because if you can tell right here, you can see it's still like kind of peeping through. And I think it's because I didn't leave it on for too long. So a little bit right there and do this one you know how we make that face we're trying to blend something out i know everybody doesn't i know i'm i know i'm not the only one that's still you can still kind of see my under eye so i'm gonna put some more on It was a little too much. Oh, well, we'll blend it. I think I'm going to use a brush this time. This is the It Cosmetics brush. It's still kind of not off, but this is the concealer brush. You're trying to get that skin look, you feel me? Therefore, you got to blend. Oh, 
I wish I did not make that face when I did my makeup. Okay, now we're gonna set it some yellow setting powder, and this is the Sasha um, Buttercup uh, setting powder. And then I'm going to take a brush, this is the Real Techniques brush, uh, setting brush. And then I kind of swarm it around, and then I take it, I dab it, because I already had a cup, I already had some in here. Trying to take off the axis, and then I try to put it in there. Because I'm going to wipe it away. Um, And I kind of go like a kind of heavy, not too heavy on the setting powder because just because it's yellow. So it's not really, I mean, it can give you flashback, but it just depends on the way you apply it. If that makes sense. And I also wipe off the axis, which also can cause you to not have um, flashback either. Kind of put it all over the place, but you gotta make sure you got it big. And then I put it down my nose because I feel like when you put setting powder, kind of of course it like lightens up if that makes sense. Um, cause and then I go into I go into a brush that I had. Okay, so the brush that I use is, I just kind of use this brush, and I use the matte NYX bronzer in the color Deep, deep Tan, and I just kind of like take a little bit of it, dab the axis off for, and then I just contour my nose a little bit. You want to make sure to wipe off the harsh lines. I kind of went a little harsh because I didn't know this is going to be that pigment too. But once you watch wipe off, because I will be going over some powder too. Okay, so I'm going to go into this Real Techniques and um this is the i think it's like the powder brush and i'm using the mac dark mineralizing skin finish and i'm just take this around and just take it around this is basically setting my foundation now i go under my under eye as well as on my nose and it kind of On my forehead and I just kind of put Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with this um, working brush. It came in a pack, and I'm going to go back in with the, and I'm going to contour my face. Or bronze up my face, you would say. And now I'm going to use this beauty blender that I have and I'm kind of going to snatch the the um the the bronzer. I was about to dip I was about to dip my beauty blender back in the bronzer. What was that going to do for me? <laughs> anyway, so take it. 
down to about like here. We're just gonna take it. Okay, so it's snogged, honey, snogged. Okay. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> it's okay. We will be fixing that compared to this. Wow. Epic fail compared to that. It's okay. We'll be going back in because I'm not gonna do this for too long. Going around. Oh, is this one? We'll be having to blend this for a while. Okay. See? Okay. Now we're gonna use blush. Blush is my favorite. And like most females say, oh, you know, contour is my favorite thing. Kind of make it. No. Not when it comes to me. When it comes to me, blush is my favorite. Um, my favorite thing to do in makeup. I just love it. It makes my face look like I'm blushing, of course. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to be using the Becca um, blush. And this is in the color Tiger Really. Something like that. I'm terrible at uh, saying names. But so um, I'm going to be taking another morphine brush that I got and dab it in there. No, ah, just it just brings my face together. I kid you not. Okay. Now, okay, we'll be setting the face with the Max um, Prep and Prime the Fix Plus. I feel like a new woman when I spray setting powder. Anyway, so while that dries, because I kind of soaked my face, I'll be taking like a lip liner that I got from the beauty supply store. And I will be covering it with this NYX Butter Gloss. Ladies, I will be coming out with a video with all my favorite lip glosses because honestly, I don't really wear lipstick like that i mean sometimes you will catch me but most times no <laughs> so i will be coming out with all the bomb lip glosses because i gotta spill the tea with the lip glosses man i know what's up anyways let me line let's line our lips if y'all didn't know by now you know that this ain't even that sharpened that's why my line's not that precise but we'll be working with it anyway so um i line my lip okay well i'm gonna be using the highlighter because i forgot my face is drying i'm using the gold deposit um mac highlighter and let's go ahead and and i don't I like my highlighter to be like kind of out there, but not too out there. That makes sense. Like some girls just like, I feel like if it's too out there, it's going to just look like, you know, and some females like that. Some females don't, but since we're going for an everyday look, I don't want it to look like, you know, cause that's just, sometimes that ain't even cute, you know? Like, I know highlights are popping and everything. It is. Don't get me wrong, because, you know, that looks good. I look ten times better now. <laughs> Anyways, um, going back to the lips. Let me go ahead. And this is called the Madeline. It's number 14. Just go by that. Anyways, let me um, go ahead and put this lip gloss on. Actually, I can just do it here. I just love oh, I just love this lip gloss. I like this one and I like another one, which you'll be seeing on my channel because the other one is just hmm. It don't even I don't even like I don't even taste it, so I don't think I think it tastes good. It I ain't even taste it, but it looks good. That's all that matters. So okay, 
I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. It, I cannot explain how much it means to me. Um, don't forget to subscribe because I will be coming out with any and everything. Comment below what you want to see. And I will definitely um, get back to y'all. Because we're trying to be the best of the best. The best of the best will hop into the best of the best. Therefore, you need to subscribe. You're taking an L if you don't subscribe. Period. Anyways, thank you guys and I... We'll see you guys in my next video.